late 1800s, that's when the campaign began for the Yaquis and with the dictatorship of Porfirio Diaz of Mexico. And they fought the Mexican government. The Yaquis and the Mayos are more close. And then the Hopis are really close to from here in Arizona. They were uh, considered, you know, the most fierce fighters in, in Mexico because they, they weren't afraid to die because they knew that uh, if they, they die, you know, we believe in, we go to the next life. Guadalupe was established by the Yaquis, so when the others settled here and, and began the planning process for our incorporation, they had to be here. You couldn't get Guadalupe done without having both parties at the table. You know, and then three years later, they got recognized by the federal government as a federally recognized tribe. They also now govern themselves out of Tucson, but you have families that have stayed here generations because this is where they migrated to and grew up. A lot of the Yaquis, when they, you know, migrated north, they changed their names, you know, their Yaqui names, because uh, they were afraid, you know, that uh, they would be captured and sent back to, to Mexico and be, you know, uh, put you know, before a firing squad or sent to the Yucatan Peninsula, you know, the slaves, they stopped their ceremonies. But they had been here since the 1800s, but it was due to persecution in Mexico that our tribal people came down here, you know, and so it was all over water rights, land. In creation, you know, we're all related. In order to live together, you know, peacefully and helping each other, we have to realize that point, you know, that, uh, that we are relatives.